Hey guys, this is Noisy Ray, and we're playing a game called Legend of Grimrock. Now this is about my third, fourth time trying to do this LP. I've had so many problems with my computer. We finally fixed some of the problems today, and I have Colton with me here right now. He fixed my computer to make it run a little faster after I bought some RAM. Uh, so basically, this is a old school RPG dungeon crawler game. That's basically the best way to describe it. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details, I'm just going to go straight to the game because I've gone into the details too many times and I don't want to lose any time, so we're going to go ahead and start a new game. We only have one dungeon right now called Grimrock. Uh, I, th I imagine that eventually there's going to be other dungeons that you can choose. We are going to stay on difficulty normal because this game is actually hard and I'm going to create my own characters because that's what I do. Are you going to make your same character as your last person? Yes. I'd like to change up my characters, but I don't. I haven't been able to experience the full... Yeah. So the first character is going to be my mage. He is going to be named Hikari the Frozen. I I give all my characters titles. I just think it makes them cooler. Frozen so he's going to, I'm going to give him all his willpower because he's going to be a mage. Mages have like no health apparently. Um, doesn't give them extra mana, that energy, that sucks. I'm actually kind of curious what it changes besides their HP. Anyway, we're going to give him tons of willpower and some vitality just so we can have some survivability. Um, he's going to have this cool little avatar picture and He's going to be an ice mage, hence the frozen part. I'm going to go ahead and give him some, uh, he doesn't really need defense. So we're just going to go ahead and give him spellcraft one. Uh, they have traits, and I give him the cold blood trait because he has resistance to cold because he is Karkari, the frozen. And I give him the skilled trait so he can have some extra skill points. We're going to go ahead and put the skill points in uh, spellcraft. So now he has two in spellcraft, and I'm going to go ahead and put one, two. Now I have a spell for ice magic and resist cold. You can see, um, so each time you put skills in the skill tree, well, I, I guess it's a skill tree. I don't really, eh. It's not a tree, really. There's no branching. Well, I mean, there's just the, the main trunk is skills, and then each branch is this, and then they each have their own little branches. Uh, like spell, like um, level. I have my ice magic to five. The first thing you get is three, which is a spell. Question, question, question. You don't learn the spells until you actually find them in the game. You can know them by heart, like I do, but. Even if you know the combination, you can't use them until you find them. No, that's not true. Really? Yeah. If you know the combination and you can use the spell, you can use it. But you won't actually find them, and I'm not going to go online and cheat and try to find them on my own. I'm going to know them by finding them in the game. But you already know your first yeah. two, I think. Yeah, well, my first spell. Well, you know, technically fire and then ice spells. And I know a lot of spells, but I can only use my ice spells. So our next prisoner is going to be our damage dealer. His name is... He's going to be a minotaur. He's going to be the red one. Maybe the blue one. No, no, that I can't remember what title we gave him. Selroy the Blunt. Yeah, that's the No capital B. I say Selroy the Blunt because he is my... Yeah. I like blunt weapons and I always will. So all my people will be blunt weapon dealers. I'm going to give him a bunch of dexterity because he never hits. Ever. I'm going to give him some vitality because... I'll give him a little... Giving him all strength. Yeah, because they, everyone hit him. Everyone. Yeah, he and died. He, hit he died too fast. That was a problem. But now um, they'll, have, they'll miss him a little bit. A little bit. And then you hit them a little bit. Alright. And basically, I give him Mace. Mace. He only gets one skill point. Um, it's not the fighters that get one skill point, it's the Minotaurs. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the skilled 
so I can actually give him a little bit more. I'm going to go and let's see his armors. I'm gonna give him two armor and I guess two mace because he really needs that armor because he's gonna be up front. He's gonna be in the battles, he's gonna be there fighting enemies, taking all the damage, well half of the damage because someone else stays in the front too. Rogue and Knight. So, and I'm thinking about giving him energy, strength. I guess we could give him strength. No, let's give him attack power. Attack power is always cool. Um, and our next character is going to be our Knight. Our knight is going to be Tesla. Tesla the shield. I don't remember what I had her. I uh, before E except after she. <laughs> She's going to be basically my damage taker. She's actually kind of the main leader of my party, even though I put her down the bottom. Um, I'm giving her complete vitality. That's what she's meant for. And I'm going to give her dexterity and one strength. Because I want her to hit a lot and take damage. So we're going to go ahead and give her all, pretty much armor. Um, I'm going to give her three armor and one sword. Because she's going to be using a sword. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and give her... Poison resistance because I've been dealing with a lot of poison lately and I hate it. And tough. She's gonna have some extra health, 15 actually. Um, and that's pretty much perfect for her. And our next prisoner is a uh, blimey mate. No, just kidding. Uh, that was like two different accents. She's a rogue. And she's going to be mean Kira the. I don't remember. I actually changed it. I don't remember what I called it. Um, we called her the Unseen. Not that it makes much sense for her because she doesn't do backstab, she does throwing weapons. Um, yeah. I think in my last one, last my last attempt, I called her to the thief. I'm not sure. Uh, or the quick. I think I'm going to call her the quick. Four. This is like my fifth one. Okay. Kira the quick. That's, that kind of suits her a little bit more. Okay, she's my dexterity girl. Dexterity and strength, pretty much. She's gonna be in the back, so she's not gonna be taking any damage. Um, if you're wondering about the other races, there's Lizard Man, which Lizard Man is basically, and I probably got to redo my points. Lizard Man is supposed to be for rogues, but I always have my rogue a girl, and there's no girl lizards. And well, it, it probably is, but you can't tell. <laughs> Did Pretty think that's a girl lizard? And nah, I really just. No, they're lizard men. That's right. Lizard man. There's no lizard women. But they're supposed to be the rogues, but I just really don't like that. And the insectoids are mages, which... Unless you want to be an insectoid. Yeah. Uh, my main character, like, I'm always playing the mages, even though he doesn't really lead. Um, I don't know. I just really don't... I don't want to be an insect. That's really all I can say. Um, so I'm making her a human. And she's going to be this little gal right here. Usually in RPGs, humans are the well-rounded characters. Pretty really much. Pointy, I like. I don't. I usually pick like elves or something, but. Well, for mages, yeah, they make good, but there's no elves. Yeah, elves or dwarves or anything else besides insectoid. I would even choose lizard men. It's just I don't have any room for one. Um, she's okay. With her, uh, I gotta change her to rogue. Um, I put everything in throwing weapons. It's everything. I don't know why, I just do it. And I'm going to go ahead and. Let's see. 
can we do for her? Well, there's really nothing that she needs, so I'll go ahead and give her skilled. So she can be awesome in throwing weapons. <laughs> and... Throw a rocket, man, guys. Dexterity plus two, there we go. The Agile. That way she's quick. Should we cure the Agile or quick... Cure the, no, cure the quick. So, let's see. I check the time. Okay, it's been ten minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start the game now. I'm going to show you the basic story. Mount Grim Rock. A towering spire looms above the clouds, a weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than histories of men have been written down. And is it, yeah, I always mess this up. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it flows towards the peak. Four prisoners bound by heavy chains emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible treasonous deeds, but the grace by the bleh, but by the grace of the king, their crimes shall be forgiven a mount forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. That's us, technically. The final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their freedom in life. Life and freedom, whatever. They are at the top of the world, and below them only darkness and justice awaits. Dang it. As they plunge down the open mall, the peak, the crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished, blah, 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 blah. You can read, I know you can do it. <laughs> cool. Let's make them read. Legend of Grimrock. True story. Probably at one time, though, yeah, probably. Although I doubt it was a mountain. First time playing Grand Rock, a tutorial is available, blah 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 blah. I am not doing that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the game real quick because we're making pizza and I've got to go put it in the oven. And y'all don't get any. Don't say that, that's mean. Y'all could have pizza if you were here. I give you, I'll give you a virtual slice of pizza over the interwebs. You know, you can... I don't know the hotkey for pausing, Colton. <laughs> Press all the hotkeys instead, and accept F10. Good job. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, sorry about that. So before we start get going, we're going to have to line up our people. My knight stays up front. My minotaur stays exactly where he is, and I like to switch up my rogue and my... Why is it lagging? It's being a little bit laggy. Um, so if you don't know how to play, you press Q and R E to turn around. W-A-S-D to move forward, sideways, and back. Um, the way this game works is you have four characters that you have to control all at once. And they're basically right here. Um, the way it looks like, or the way it would look like in the game, is... There's two characters in front, your knight, well, my knight, and my uh, minotaur, and there's my rogue and my mage in the back. So currently, we don't have anything. We click on your characters to see what they have in their inventory. We currently have nothing, and I have no idea what my, my mouse is the one that's being all glitchy. Anyway, so we first start off, you see some writing on the wall. Choose your fate, perish in this cell, or pick up the torch. Well, I'm going to grab this torch. And I have my mage hold the torch because he really doesn't need to hold anything. So I give him a torch. I wonder if you can get a staff for him. Yeah, I got a staff. I got a staff from, um... You should like, probably take all the torches from this area, considering you're not going to be in here. Yeah, I grab all the torches and I put it in her inventory because you do run out of torches, your torch does run out, and it gets really dark, and it gets really hard to see. It's not really that dark. No, it gets really dark. Like, I can show you how dark it is. Well, I got a cudgel, which is basically a blunt weapon, so I'm giving it to him. I'm going ahead and give, a uh, got some pants and some a tunic. I'm going to go ahead and give that to my knight, so she can take all the damage, hopefully. I'm going ahead and put this torch in there, and I like to organize my stuff. I put all her working torches on the bottom right corner, 
And this is what it looks like when it gets really dark. It's seeable. Well, it may be for you, but yeah. whenever there's items there, you really can't see them. No, no, no. Turn it back off, turn it back off, and then look up. No, I mean, never mind. Play the game. <laughs> Alright, well, first first little puzzle. You gotta press this switch. Open up. Well, they basically show you all the basics whenever you're playing. Um, they gotta take this rock, put it on that thing, so it'll stay open. Grab this. Put it in there. Nah, 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 nah. Go ahead over here. Got a key. I give her the keys always because she's my front man. Apparently um, one man. Guys, we won't be going. We won't be going through this as fast. Um, we'll get through later. Ray has just played this like what five times, four times now. Yeah, four times. So I'm really sorry if I'm running too fast. Basically, just going through everything. It's um, I'm not really. I already know that I'm not missing anything. Like there's that door that I have to put the key in. Um, I do go back around and stuff. We came through here and I went this way immediately. No, I went this way and I got the key. So I'm gonna go this way. Uh, something Ray hasn't talked about yet. Um, you do have hunger in this game, so staying in one place for too long is not advised. Yes, especially if you have a torch out, because the torch will run out. Well, the torches will not run out when they're in your inventory, so don't be afraid about that. I need another key to go that way, and this thing says loose rock. It's basically the first puzzle, real puzzle of the game, I guess you could say, um, with the exception of finding that key and the uh, lever, is there's loose rock. And it always looks like this. You press it, and something usually happens, like a a wall goes up, and you find something cool. And we got an iron key in that case. And in order to use your keys, like I showed earlier, you go to your inventory, grab it, use it. Very, very simple game. And grab every torch you can. Eventually, it'll get very cumbersome, but it's worth it especially whenever there's lots of puzzles that actually involve you having to use torches. And there's our first enemy. I'm going to go ahead and use Kira so I can throw this rock at it. She does 13 damage. This is the combination for the ice spell. And it does tons of damage in the beginning. And you're going to want to make sure that you get everybody to attack at Holy least crap. once. It took half your mana. Yeah, it... You run out of mana pretty easily. Make well, sure. that's a pretty strong spell. You're probably not supposed to know. Nah, that's the first ice spell you get. Really? Yeah. That's the thing. I don't think they're. Ac I don't think you're actually meant to um, only use one magic in this game because no. But if you throw weapons like my Kira does, uh. If you walk over it, you can pick it right back up. You do never, you never lose thrown weapons. They come right back. You just, they fall to the ground, you pick them up. It's very awesome. Um, we got a, a leather pants. I'm going to go ahead and switch out her breeches. I'm going to give them to him because he's going to need their protection since he's getting the crap beat out of him. Um, I have a knife. Now, usually the uh, rogue uses the knives, but because she's in the back, she can't hit up in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and give her the knife because I'm going to go ahead and get her these boots. Now she's super protected because she doesn't have a weapon right now and hitting with her fist just doesn't cut it. I don't really get a sword until a little bit later so I'm not going to have her being professional on knives obviously but she does need a weapon. Now let's see. I believe we came from here. Yeah. Grab that torch. And we need to pull this lever to open up this gate. And what we find in here is a throwing knife, which is perfect because we have a... Th so throw that knife. It only does poor damage for some reason. A rock does more damage than a knife. What kind of world is this? If you don't understand, if you don't, um, exactly... Yeah, that rock did 24 damage, but that throwing knife only did, um... That must be well, there's two. Rock. <laughs> um, by the way, if you don't know how to attack, like you have ooh, problems learning how to attack, uh, you right click. And I'm going to go ahead and get Kira to go forward and attack. Because if the characters do not attack, they won't get, they'll get about half as much experience if they don't attack an enemy before it dies. So remember to have your people attack at least once. You can do this, switch them out, push them back. Um, I didn't need to do that because I already did that. But if you do that, that will assure that they'll get experience. 
Um, I have this guy hold all my food. Everybody seems to be pretty good on their hunger, which you can see right here. Um, if you want to see their stats, there's this thing right here. Um, left hand weapon, right hand weapon. Wait a minute. Oh, that's Akari. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, huh? See, she her, she actually does 6 damage with her left hand weapon. And she does 313 damage with her right hand weapon, which is kind of strange because... Um, just a minute, cool. I want to get to a good stopping point. Can you only save in certain areas? No, you can save whenever. So, yeah. Um, some food. Another rock to throw. Na, 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 na. I'm trying to run through. I'm trying not to run through, but trying to get through as much as possible in so little time. So we can get back to where we are. Yeah. Here's some sandals. I'll go ahead and give those to him because he doesn't have anything. Another rock. Some food. Loincloth. I'm going to switch out his pants with this loincloth because it gives him a. Willpower minus one, attack power plus one. He doesn't need willpower, so it's all good. I'm going to go ahead and give her these pants, because someone has to wear some pants, you know. Might as well give it to the woman, so her vagina's not looking all over the place. Don't want to be having these women with their exposed vaginas. Anyway, um, we need a key to go in that door. We can go through that way if we pull the lever thingy. Um, I have looked around all this place before, so I don't notice... I don't believe that there's anything that I'm missing. First order of business. Um, Wait, don't you want to, to close the pit, something needs to fly. Okay, well basically, you throw the rock, go over here, get a key, awesome sauce. Now, you can keep going, the rock stays there, but what happens if you take the rock? Well, obviously, if you step off, you're going to fall because, you know, and I'm not saying go off and kill yourself because you get hurt when you fall. But, there's stuff down there sometimes. yeah, sometimes there's stuff down here. Like, there's this little thing that's like, you can't fly. What can? You know. Um, I usually try to avoid it, but I know on the third floor, if you fall down, you get, like, awesome crazy stuff if you can figure out the puzzles. Because there's really good stuff if you fall down the holes. It's like kind of like a um, hidden puzzle. And this looks like a good place to stop. Um, I'm going to end stop right here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a really, really good game, and it's called Legend of Grimrock. I recommend that you get it and play it with me, because I'm definitely going to be doing this a long time if the letter, if the recorder lets me make these videos. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. See you next episode. In the next episode, we're going to figure out why the heck that face is staring at us with such a menacing look. It doesn't have any eyes. It's scary. Thank you. Goodbye, guys.